you may need to use averages to compare two different data sets. The first method of doing so is to calculate the mean, median and mode and then see which ones are higher or lower depending on the context. So for example, if you were comparing two classes test scores and you calculated the mean and one class had a higher mean, then that class has performed better in general because the, the mean is higher. Whereas if you're comparing 100 meter run times, you would want the lower mean because that's a faster time. So make sure you're comparing it in context. The second thing to look at is the spread. So the interquartile range, the quartiles, the range, and then the minimum and maximum values. So again, for some examples of this, if you're looking at the range, that gives you how different the people within that class are. So for example, if you had one class where the range is only 5%, whereas one class you've got a range of 50%, then the range, the one with the range of five, perform a lot more similar to each other. They're a lot more consistent to each other. You could use the minimum and maximum values in a simil similar way. So, for example, again, talking about a class's test scores, the class with the highest maximum value had the student who performed the best. The class with the lowest minimum value had the student who performed the worst, and so on. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done. So you can see here a written solution explaining how you should have done it. So if you've got it correct, you can just quickly check you did it the right way. Or if you're still unsure how you should have solved it, there's a video solution where an expert will talk you through exactly how to solve the problem.